Hello, this is Greg Witt with Alpenwild. Most of the questions that people ask me about hiking the Hogood are pretty straightforward and easy to answer. But one question that's more difficult to answer is, can I hike the Hogood route? Because when someone asks this, what they're really asking is, am I in good enough physical, physical condition to do this? I don't always know what kind of physical shape you're in, so I find out what kinds of similar hikes or treks you've done in the past. I want to know what kind of physical activity you're doing on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis. I may even ask about your weight and your age. But most importantly, I want to get a sense about your attitude. The Holt Route is a good physical challenge, but it's also committing and requires mental and emotional stamina. I've guided people of all ages, from teenagers to those in their 70s on the Hope Route. I've gone with marathon runners, with high-performance athletes, and I've taken people who are sometimes maybe 30 or 40 pounds overweight and not in the best of shape. And you know what? They've all made it. And they've had a great experience doing it. But if you're in good shape, you'll enjoy it even more. Because I want you to have the best possible experience on the Hope Route, Let's take some time right now and talk about what some of the physical demands are and what kind of conditioning is needed to do your best. A typical day on the hiker's Holt route is 8 to 10 miles per day. Well, you say, even at just 2 miles an hour, that's only 4 or 5 hours a day of hiking. But on the Holt route, it's not just the distance, it's the elevation gain. On a typical day, you're gaining three to 4,000 vertical feet. And most of that gain is at an elevation or an altitude above 7,000 feet. So if you're a flatlander, you may be winded and feel out of breath. Also, you may have no problem doing a 10-mile hike of 4,000 vertical feet elevation gain on a weekend at home. But on the Holt route, you'll be doing that eight to 10 days in a row. So it requires solid endurance. The best training for the Holt route is to actually be out walking or hiking on a regular basis. As part of your normal routine, you should be walking five uh, miles a day, three to five days a week. Walk at a brisk pace. Carry a pack of 10 to 20 pounds when possible and include hill climbing. Uh, to the extent your schedule allows, get out once a week for a 10 to 12 mile hike. Again, carry a pack and try to incorporate as much elevation gain as possible to simulate the three to 4,000 vertical feet you'll be climbing each day on the Holt Route. By, by maintaining this program for two months prior to your trip, you'll be well conditioned for the Holt Route. What's more, you'll feel great, you'll be full of energy, and you'll have a fabulous experience hiking in the Swiss Alps. This is Greg Witt for Alpenwild. See you on the trail.